Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, while the Premier has spent a great deal of time recently blaming municipalities for slowing down housing development, his own government is refusing to put housing on a plot of land that's been earmarked for housing for years. Build Nova Scotia, formerly developed Nova Scotia, has had a plan complete with zoning at Dartmouth Cove since 2012 on provincial land that is serviced, has complete plans, community buy-in, and could yield as much as 1,000 housing units. Madam Speaker, when is the Premier going to stop blaming others for the housing crisis and get his own house in order? I recognize the Honourable Premier. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Speaker. As a government, we're moving very quick on, on a number of files. Uh, there's no question about that, particularly on the housing uh, file where we're working with a, a number of organizations, working with the federal government, trying to work with municipalities, uh, changing legislation where it's, where it's deemed necessary to go faster. Uh, in this particular example, I believe the, 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 the member is, is referring to a specific example that was put out for tender. Somebody was awarded that tender, and then on their side are having a few delays getting going. We are certainly not happy about those delays, uh, but we understand they happen, and we're working with that. We're working with that organization to try to move forward. The leader of the New Democratic Party on our first supplementary. Thank you, Madam Speaker. If the Premier was following the housing file, he would know that that is not the site I am talking about. I am talking about the Dartmouth Cove site adjacent to the ferry, connected to Alderney Drive, where private development is rising all around, but the Minister of Public Works said the other day that it's on the back burner because she didn't think that, that we were going to build by the coast. That's interesting because yesterday the Premier said that the Coastal Protection Act might not come into force at all. So we're content for people to build by the coast, except for at Dartmouth Cove, on provincial land. Can the Premier see how ridiculous it is to hold a plot like this, to not build on it? There are no bidders when housing is so badly needed. The Honourable Premier. Thank, thank you, Madam Speaker. I asked the member to table the comments of the Minister because I'm certainly uh, not familiar with those comments and I find, have a hard time believing that they're accurate or accurately quoted. Uh, but what I, what I would say, I would, I, would assure, I would assure the member that as a, as, a, as, a, as a government, we are moving as quickly as we can on a number of housing initiatives as evidenced by the over $300 million we've invested in housing this year. We, we, will, we, will, continue, uh, we will continue to make investments. We will continue to work with developers, not-for-profits, municipalities. We will work with anyone who wants to help us get more housing for Nova Scotians, including the member opposite, if she chooses to try to work with us. Recognize the leader of the New Democratic Party on our final supplementary. Thank you. I'm, I'll happily table the article. Um, but notwithstanding, yeah, it's all Nova Scotia. I'll print it out. I'll table it. I didn't quote from an article. I paraphrased. I am not required to table it, but I will, Mr. Premier. The Premier seems. I'm addressing the Premier because he is addressing me. The Order. Premier seems. Yeah. Order. There's a lot of chatter. Let's let her. Everyone just. Came down here, and uh, we will go back to the question with the leader of the New Democratic Party. Through me, please. So the Dartmouth Cove land, which the province owns and refuses to build on because it's close to the coast, is sitting there, ready for a thousand units serviced. But Sandy Lake, which is a special planning area, has and has recently been accelerated. This is an unserviced site with environmental features such as old growth forests, species at risk, wetlands, streams, and the government is pushing to develop this site despite a coalition of dozens of community groups trying to protect it. Make it make sense, Madam Speaker. Government held site, Dartmouth Cove, ready to build, community buy-in, but an environmentally sensitive area with private interest ran through. When will the Premier start Question. building housing where communities know it is wanted and needed? I recognize the Honourable Premier. Just as quickly as we can, Madam Speaker, uh, for sure. I don't think there can be any question that this government is moving fast on housing. In fact, I think the member in, in her preamble quoted a few situations where we're moving so fast, it's too fast for her liking. Uh, we will continue to move fast, uh, Ma Madam Speaker, and I'd ask again for the member to table the comments, which I, I, I'd be curious to see the interpretation of context that was displayed on the floor here. 